Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. If you do love what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. It does definitely help out my channel and gets me closer to 100,000. We're going to be focusing on a specific person who always made an appearance here and there on I Love Lucy a multitude of times. Her name was Barbara Pepper. Now, while some of you may have heard the name, some of you maybe not, I'm going to give you a few details, a few things about her, tell you about all her appearances on I Love Lucy, as well as why is she a very special person for the show. She was even considered to play the part of Ethel Mertz on I Love Lucy. However, she was rejected. Why was she rejected and who rejected her? This is very important to find out, and I'll give you all the details in this video. Now, she wasn't the only woman who was considered to play the part of Ethel Mertz. B. Benadere was also another individual. However, she had some other commitments and other shows that she had to be on, so she wasn't chosen. Now, I have talked about why they picked Vivian Vance, but you should check out my other videos for that, and maybe I'll make an in-depth one in the future. But if you consider the role of Ethel Mertz, they had already cast Bill Frawley to play the role of Fred Mertz. And so he was already 64 years old when he was hired for the show. And this had to be important because his wife, obviously, had to match him. However, there were issues because they were trying to find a woman that would match, but also had the acting chops to go along him, as well as be young enough to do all the physical comedy that was required of the role, because a lot of this physical stuff she had to do with Lucille Ball. So they had to do a bit of a balancing act. You may also be surprised to know that they even considered Mary Wicks to play the part of Ethel Mertz. That's one that I rarely hear about, but I did want to include it in there. If you don't know, Mary Wicks was the demanding... Madame Lamont of the ballet episode of I Love Lucy, a one, a two, a three, a four, and then Lucy gets her foot stuck up there. So yes, that was Mary Wicks, but they decided that it wasn't the right part for her, even though she was Lucille Ball's really good friend. So before they actually considered Vivian Vance, they did consider, as I mentioned, Barbara Pepper. Now she was a big pal of Lucille Ball for over 20 years. So this is something to consider. Lucy loved to put people around her that she was friends with into her work and kind of bring them into the fold. So this was not unusual for her to do. In fact, they were also the same age. They were both 39 at the time that I Love Lucy started. However, Pepper was a bit overweight. Or we can just say she was overweight. And that was a problem because they needed someone who could do the physical comedy. Even though they did want someone who wasn't as quote unquote fit as Lucille Ball in itself. But the physical standpoint, it was a bit of a squeeze. So that already played against her. But this was the big thing while they ultimately decided that she was not right for the part. Barbara Pepper did like to drink, and that was the big issue. In fact, it was hard liquor that she had a problem with. And not only Lucille Ball, but as well as Desi Arnaz, who made a lot of the executive and managerial positions on the show, he had a lot of power in terms of what was happening behind the scenes. He didn't want two drinkers. Now, I won't get into all the details, but it was known that Bill Frawley, that is off camera, off the show was a drinker as well. I will note, and I always say this whenever I get the chance, Bill Frawley never had an issue whenever he was on set or in his performances regarding his drinking. That was something that was corroborated by pretty much everyone on the I Love Lucy set. No one ever said that the drinking affected his actual performances. He did his job professionally and there was nothing that he lacked in that avenue. But they didn't want someone like Bill Frawley and then someone like Barbara Pepper together basically supporting the whole show. They thought that would not be a good idea. So they decided to veto the choice of Barbara Pepper, but you can see her in many episodes of I Love Lucy. You could see her in Breaking the Lease. This is, of course, from season one. She was a party guest behind with Bennett Green, who was also Desi Arnaz's stand-in, which is pretty cool. In the episode of The Freezer, she was one of the women in the butcher shop. Moving on to the anniversary present, she was the voice of the woman in 4B. Whenever the girls, that is Lucy and Ethel, are listening into the furnace vent, she was that voice. In Ricky Loses His Voice, she was one of the chorus girls. In that very, very famous episode where Lucy goes to the hospital and gives birth to little Ricky, she plays one of the nurses. 
Continuing on to Lucy's last birthday, she was in the group of the Friends of the Friendless. She was one of those members. Now moving on to season three, the girls go into business. She was one of the customers in the dress shop. Sentimental anniversary, she was one of the party guests invited to the Ricardo's home. Then way later in the future in the tour, when the gang is in Hollywood and enjoying that tour of all the Hollywood homes, including the Richard Widmark house, she is that woman on the bus next to Lucy and Ethel. And then finally in the homecoming, she is one of the neighbors. Now, I believe she appeared in a couple others here and there, but nothing really strong. These are more where you could definitely see her in a good amount of time in these episodes, about 10 of them. So if you do want to check her out, make sure to look at that and see her connection to Lucille Ball, the gang, and the fact that even though she wasn't cast as Ethel Mertz, Lucille Ball brought her in many, many times because she loved her friends and the people around her. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. Let me know in the comments down below what did you learn and what did you already know about this woman? Were you surprised to hear this? And did you ever catch her in any of the episodes when she made her small appearances? We'll see you next time. And don't forget, guys and gals, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my Diamond Tier patrons, Citizen Kane 359, Paul T, Ricky, Gary N, David D, Sally N, Yasmin G, and Lori K. If you want to be part of the Patreon family, don't forget to take a look at the description with many exclusives that you can enjoy.